Yes, sir. What's it good, y'all? You do what I'm saying. Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. I know you guys are confused. It's all good. Let's go ahead and roll that intro, and I'll clear up your confusion. Let's get it. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You did. All right, y'all. You do what I'm saying. So I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck's going on. The upload schedule has been weak. It is now Tuesday. I didn't upload yesterday. You guys are probably wondering why you didn't get a video. Long story short, Sunday morning, I sprained my spine and my shoulder blade. Um, literally, I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was getting ready for work um, and something popped and it was just game over. It was excruciating pain. Felt like somebody like took a spear and shot me with it and it went through my back, through the front of my and out through my chest. It was crazy. Worst pain I've ever felt in my life, 10 out of 10. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm sorry I missed an upload yesterday. It's just because the video that's supposed to drop tomorrow, uh, was, that was supposed to drop yesterday, requires me washing my car um, so I can get some B-roll for that video. So you guys just stay tuned. I'm actually skipping that upload and getting straight into this unboxing. Now you guys may be wondering what it is exactly that Lighting Train sent me that is inside of this box. Mamba's getting a whole new front facial. So with that being said, I know I had the headlights up for sale on Facebook Marketplace, on Instagram, um, on Twitter, um, on Five Mile, and some other, um, you know, apps to sell stuff, you know what I mean? I had it up on sale for a while. Nobody actually really reached out that was really, like, serious about it or had the bread in hand um, to pick them up or a couple people tried to lowball me and all this and that. At the end of the day, bro, you're getting... a demon eye you're getting rgbw drls and you're getting rgbw uh, flow series halo ring of course i'm gonna charge your grip and it's all installed already you know what i'm saying so if you were to go somewhere and try to get them to install that stuff into your head like they'll charge you upwards of 500 450 at least you know what i'm saying so with me putting all of that in and on top of that it's an rs headlight like, come on, fam, you know what I mean? So people were trying to lowball me, blah, blah, blah. Push comes to shove. I decided, I, I found a front splitter that I actually, like, really like, and I think I'm going to run with it. Um, and an idea that I had for the front fascia of Mamba, which I think will make it look extremely, extremely, extremely aggressive. So I ended up reaching out to my guys over at Lighting Trends, who shout out to them. If you guys do not know, we are actually sponsored by Lighting Trends over here on this channel. If you type in Jazz Squad 10, it pops up right here. Um, at checkout, you'll save yourself 10% off of anything that they have on the website, lightingtrends.com. Make sure you guys go check it out. It pops up right here, and the information will be in the description down below. But I reached out to my guys. I let them know the issue that I was having with the headlight. If you guys missed a couple episodes back when I um, said that I was selling the headlights, um, for some reason, the passenger side DRL, one of them just flickers and spazzes out. It also does different colors whenever you change the setting. It barely likes to hold red, and when it does hold red, it's like if it hits a bump or something like that, it flashes. Now, I thought that it was the connection, so I unplugged it, replugged them in, plugged in different. Um, I plugged in the actual flow ring itself with the same wire, still tripping, so they ended up saying, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and warranty everything and replace everything. Now, with that being said, there's a little giblet um, in here that's different from what Mamba, Mamba setup currently is. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm super stoked about it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and grab a knife and let's get this box open, get straight into this unboxing. Uh, so let's get it. Got the scissors, I mean, got the knife. You know what I mean, you always wanna cut away from yourself. Always wanna cut away from yourself, but slide that through there. Right through the middle. All right. Now we 
they got the box open. I hope they didn't put, of course they did. They love these packing peanuts and I hate them. Dang it. It's a good thing my trash can right here. I'm finna just scoop all these up so we can get straight to the money because I, I really hope that they sent the right kit. I has has an issue with sending the wrong kit. Um, speaking from experience and also from my guy Q getting the wrong kit. So let's pray they sent the right stuff. This is so upsetting, bro. They really be pissing me off when they do this shit. Alright, y'all. So, I just reached out to Lion Trends and I let them know yet again they sent me the wrong product. This kit right here is for either the 2010 through 2011 um, RS package or non-RS package. I have a 2015. With the 2015 RS package, the halo rings are a DRL and they're two pieces, not just one. So it's like this ring right here, one is not gonna fit in the headlight, two is not gonna work. Why? Because I have the RS package. This is so frustrating to me because literally when I placed my order the very first time, they sent me the wrong kit. And I told them like seven times, hey, I have an RS package car. I have an RS package car. I need the DRLs and not the halo rings. I specifically told them that. He even said in the text, like I have it on Instagram, bro. Like not to bad mouth them, but at this point it's just ridiculous because you guys want me to put my stamp of approval on your company and your product and have a promo code and stuff like that for my followers, my subscribers, but you know, the JI squad, but yet you guys mess up the order. Like this is not the first time you guys messed up my order. You guys messed up Q's order. Like, it's just ridiculous. And then for you guys to be warranting the headlights that are messing up and send out the wrong kit yet again, it's just ridiculous at this point. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Honestly, I'm super, I, I'm really frustrated. I'm waiting for them to hit me back. This doesn't make any sense. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And I already know the trolls in the comments are gonna be like, oh, you should've went with Oracle. You should've went with Oracle. Well. The reason why I didn't go with Oracle first and foremost is because I reached out to them um, and they didn't hit me back, first and foremost. Secondly, when I reached out to Lighting Trends, they hit me back and we set up the sponsorship with Whoop, placed the order, paid for it, had it shipped out, it came in within a week. That's one thing I can say about Lighting Trends, they can get the product to you, it's just getting you the right product, that's their issue. <sighs> but anyway, I didn't go with Oracle because they didn't hit me back up. Lion Trans did, but it's just frustrating where when I advocate for a company and even have people coming and, you know, buying from the company based off of my word and y'all send them the wrong kit, not only them, but then you do the same thing to me and I'm supposed to be sponsored by y'all. In my eyes, when you sponsor somebody, that they become a partner to your company. They become a priority to your company. Somebody that's important to your company is supposed to be a part of you. Now I'm not just a customer. Now I'm here working with you guys, you know what I'm saying, to get my followers to come buy your product. Working with you guys to get more people to come buy your product. So you should be going above and beyond to make sure that I'm satisfied. And for y'all to send out the wrong kit when you're warranting a kit, this will be the second time that you're sending me the wrong kit. It's just frustrating, bruh. It's frustrating. So I'm gonna hit I hit them up. I'm gonna see what they say. Probably gonna have to go through the process of sending these back and waiting for them to ship out the right, correct DRLs. 
and then we'll be able to go ahead and get the install going. But I just wanted to make this video for y'all. I was actually super hyped about getting these in the mail. I literally didn't say anything to nobody. Only told like two people um, that this was happening. I was so hyped or super hyped to go ahead and do some kind of mods to Mamba, do something to Mamba and pump out some great content for y'all. And of course, it was an epic fail. So without further ado, that's really gonna do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Make sure you drop a fat like on this video. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all go check out my other channel with my girl, Joy and Joel. It pops up right here. Couples channel, uh, Prank Wars are beginning, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually plotting a prank right now. I'm pranking her this week. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. We just dropped a video during a review on our first time eating sushi. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up and I'll uh, put the link in the description down below. Make sure y'all go check it out. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. It's been your boy, J.I. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>